His journey began with the need to raise money for spinal cord research, and in the end, it became a story of inspiration that all of us can turn to. That was the night that Jimmy got paralyzed. I just didn't get my hands out in front of me and my head hit the, hit the wood and just it yanked it back too far. And just fell on his head and bent his head, head back like that? Ripped all the ligaments off the, uh, you know, off my spine and pinched my cord and everything went cold and, you know, just sitting there with my face down in dirt going, you gotta be kidding me, I'm seriously gonna go out like this. I mean, I knew the second I hit the ground, I knew what was going on. It was the little crash that changed his whole world. Me and Jeremy kind of made this, uh, you know, made this pack, if you will, that, uh, you know, if he won the championship, I'm the one that had to present him with the trophy. We were so blessed to just see him walk on stage, you know, it was like, like he just conquered the world. TMC. My number one guy, you always have been. Thanks for uh, making this bet with me. I, uh, you pulled off your end again, and I pulled off my end, so I didn't do the classic button buckle on that deal. He worked hard to be able to achieve that, and so it was the defining moment of the end to a great Supercross season. I'd like to introduce my best friend and seven-time Supercross champion, the king of Supercross, Jeremy McGrath. A good guy won in this instance. I pray that people hear about this and text and give so that they can receive some of the great care that Jimmy received. And we can come up with new ideas and new ways. That's what this is all about. You know, I'm writing for a lot of people that are still with chairs. Uh, they've never got the chance to do this. I hate that. So I'm going to do what I can do to make a change. Wow. Very emotional video there. And, uh, you guys all know, 11 years ago tonight, Jimmy and I had a bet that if I won the title, he would present the trophy with me, to me. And uh, it happened. Jimmy worked so hard, so proud of him. Corey's here, helped him through the whole thing. Corey was with him this year on the ride, which by the way is amazing. I mean, whoever says they're gonna ride their bike across the United States, to me, seems a bit crazy. But leave it to Jimmy to do it, right? Uh, it's a real emotional night. He's, I'm proud to have him as my friend. And uh, he's accomplished so much since this night, since that day at San Diego. And uh, for that, I want to say congratulations and present him with the uh, Road Recovery Main Jet Award. Congratulations. <laughs>
playing with score steps a lot easier 11 years ago. Thanks for this. Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm really, really fortunate and blessed to have had the recovery that I've had. You know, most people don't get the opportunity to, you know, to get out of chairs once, uh, once they're put in them. So, you know, I'm one of the, one of the few of, you know, nearly six million guys that are in them right now. Actually, the last of words right now. Um, a big thanks to uh, to everybody that really supported me on this ride. Uh, I, I have to first start with Steve. Thanks for letting me take two months off. It was uh, it, it was a great experience and, and something that uh, had you not let me do that, it wouldn't have been possible. Also to um, to my wife Christy, who is uh, who surprised me tonight for being here. Actually, she's uh, she's about two weeks away from. Uh, from giving birth to our to our first child, a, a son that's going to be uh, a son that we're actually uh, uh, kind of rightly so we're going to name him Phoenix. And uh, I want to thank Corey and Rachel and Big E for uh, for giving me the support on the ride every single day. We uh, we had some good days and some bad days out there on the road, but uh, as a group and as a team, you know, we found uh, we found ways to to get ourselves around the adversity that we had day in and day out and having a few crashes that I did, I always seemed to hit the ground somehow. But uh, you know, they were there to pick me up and, and you know help me along the way. Also big thanks to all of our sponsors, uh, especially uh, our bike company, Set Day Bikes, uh, the guys over at Monster, everybody here at Feld, um, uh, a boatload of people. And uh, my family for sure, my mom and dad, Everybody at the Road Recovery Foundation for uh, for sticking behind us and doing all the background work while we were out there on the uh, on the bike. But uh, I can say this: I, I told a few stories this weekend about the bike ride. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of riders out there. You know, you guys are really busy with what to do right now. But when uh, when it comes time that your careers are over and you get an opportunity to do something like this, do it because it will uh, it will change you for the better, for good. And uh, that's uh, that's it. And, just want to uh, say that the, the shirt that I have on tonight kind of represents everything I, uh, I ever believed in. So thanks to DC for coining the, uh, the slogan, refuse to lose, because you, uh, you can't ever give up out there. So have a good night. Congratulations on the